So welcome to the second episode of Top Android Apps of 2023. And as usual, I got seven amazing applications for you guys to check out without taking much of your time. Let's get to the video. Getting straight to it, the first application is a really cool one that allows you to monitor your data usage on a daily basis, which is really cool. So this application gives you a widget on your home screen that allows you to monitor your daily usage of your data. That is, you set a target that you don't want to use above, then you can see what you're left with on your home screen. You also get to monitor the usage from your mobile data and also your Wi-Fi, which is really cool. The application is pretty straightforward. When you open it up, you're going to see your mobile data on your left and your Wi-Fi on your right. If you click on it, you're going to see all the applications that use your data, which is pretty nifty. The same goes for your Wi-Fi usage also. Okay, so for the first application, if you've been looking for a way to monitor your data usage, being in mobile data or Wi-Fi, this widget is going to make it very easy for you. At a glance, you can see what you have left for your planned data for the day, and you can actually monitor your data usage from now onwards. Let's get to the second application. For app number two, we have Pika Dynamic Island. Yes, so the Dynamic Island came out a few months ago and we've had various versions on Android, but this one in particular gives you some animations on the Dynamic Island, which is pretty cool. So to activate any of these animations, you can easily just watch some ads and you're good to go. And this is the kind of animation you should be expecting around your Dynamic Island. You still get all your notification when it comes to messages and the likes, but if you want to spice up your Dynamic Island a little bit, this application gives you a whole list of animations that you can introduce to your dynamic island region and like i said you can literally just watch some ads to activate any of these animations so so for pika dynamic like i said this adds some animation to your poncho display in the form of a dynamic spot if you want some animations so that your phone doesn't look so boring you should definitely check this out i did realize though anytime that i have this activated i find it difficult to scroll down my notification shade so that is something you should definitely look at and you have to run through all those ads to get your animations for free so so that is something you should also take note too the next application is like the dynamic island, but this time around, it lets you have some interaction with your whole punch display. For instance, with this application, you can just take a screenshot using your whole punch display by just tapping on it. And also you can change this to anything that you want. It still serves as a dynamic island, giving you all the notification alerts that you get anytime that you get a message or a notification. And in the application, you can actually change how you want your notification to look like. Yes, so this application also adds some extra functionality to your punch hole display. I like the way that I can just tap on my punch hole display to take a screenshot, but to know that this is going to make your camera smudgy. So anytime you want to take a selfie, you probably have to wipe it up a bit. So take note of that. Let's check out the next application. For the next application, if you're a big oldies music fan, you're really going to like this application. How would you feel if you're able to open your music application and you see all the list of the top trending songs from 1991, 1965, right on your home screen? And this application gives you previews and it's also linked to your Tidal. So if you want to watch the full videos or the full music, you can actually go to Tidal and watch everything that you want to watch. But the interface of the application is pretty nice. This is a really cool application that gives you all the music that was trending in the 1990s, 1965 and I, like if you're an oldies fan you're definitely going to enjoy this application so for this application if you're a big fan of old time music oldies music 1990 music and you want to know what was trending at that time this application is going to give you all the top trending songs i actually found some really cool songs that i didn't know about on here so if you're a big fan of old time music make sure you check this one out too the next application on today's list is auto school for tiktok and reels so if you like to watch a lot of TikTok videos or reels and you don't like the idea of having to scroll over and over again, maybe you're actually doing something else and you want to free up your hands, auto scroll is going to give you the opportunity to auto scroll your feed after the time that you've allocated elapses. So if you turn this on, as you can see, every time that your 15 minutes or whatever time that you set passes, the feed is automatically going to scroll up, which is really cool. So for auto scroll, if for every reason you want your Instagram feed, Reels, TikTok Reels to automatically be scrolling up, 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 when you're not actually engaging with it physically, this application is going to do exactly that for you. So make sure you check this out. And at this point, if you're new to this channel, kindly consider hitting the subscribe button, leave no comment sections, any application you want me to check out in the next episode, as I'm always looking down there to find some really cool application. Subscribe, because the analytics says that most of you watch the videos but haven't subscribed yet. So how would I know if I'm doing an amazing job? Kindly subscribe to the channel for amazing Top 100 Apps videos like this. So this is a really cool wallpaper application I think you guys will find interesting. Also, 
wall factory comes with amazing unique truly high quality wallpaper especially if your screen is amoled and you must have wallpapers apps for you these wallpapers were made to make your devices stand out with over 300 really cool wallpapers to check out i actually like the way the bottom half of it is mostly dark so you can actually place all your icons right there so if you're looking for a wallpaper application that has really cool unique wallpapers ones that you probably might not find anywhere else make sure you check out wall factory and i'll be giving out 10 promo codes to this application on my instagram so all you have to do is to follow me on my instagram hit me in my dms ask for it this is going to be on a first come first serve basis so so if you want to be amongst the first 10 people to get a promo code to this wallpaper application you know what to do so a wall factory i found some really cool wallpapers and i've been loving them i like the way most of the wallpapers from the bottom have this dark gradient on it it makes it very easy to identify your icons on your home screen this is a wallpaper application you should be looking out for this month next on today's list we have super status bar customization so this application allows you to add some really cool tweaks to your notification or your status bar area this is really cool. As you can see, I have this white bar at the top of my screen. This is actually my battery meter. So if my battery drops, this is also going to drop. And from here, I can easily brighten up my screen or dim my screen, depending on whatever you allocate this feature for. You can use it to reduce the volume of your music or anything like that. So if you've been looking for an application that gives you a whole lot of tweaks when it comes to your status bar region, Super Tutorials Bar is one of the longest applications I've been using for this. You can definitely check it out with all the cool hidden features that this has in stock. Last but not the least is Super Status Bar. I have been using this for a very long time, probably up to one to two years or maybe more. And I like the way I have some functionality when it comes to my notification region. So if you want to add some more tweaks, increasing the brightness or lowering it from the notification shape, make sure you check this application out. So this brings us to the end of this episode of Top 100 Apps. If you're new to this channel, of course, like I said, grant me my wish by subscribing to the channel. It goes a really long way to support the channel. Stay liquid and I'll see you in my next episode. Peace, I'm out.